Hello, I am Lakshmi Shetty. So we will continue with uh, module 5 and uh, we have already seen a uh, lot of concepts related to operating systems, uh, basics of operating system, types of operating system and what's uh, task, process and threads. So in this video we will go ahead and see a small concept uh, with regard to thread preemption. So thread preemption is similar to process preemption. Uh, we will see in detail what is thread preemption. Thread preemption as uh, in the process even in threads uh, it is an act of uh, preempting the current running thread that is uh, what we do is uh, we are going to share if there are multiple threads then these multiple threads uh, are sharing the CPU time and uh, as and when the uh, the uh, uh, the slice time slice is over then the thread is switched to another thread uh, this is a currently running thread is preempted and it is switched to another thread so here the thread preemption ability will be solely dependent or it will be dependent on uh, OS now uh, the execution switching whatever switching happens amongst the thread this process is known as thread context switching and the thread context switching depends on two things one is dependent on the OS scheduler and it also depends on the type of threads or depending on whether it is uh, what type of thread and the scheduler OS scheduler use the, the, the context switching will be occurring let us see now we are talking about type of thread which is the dependent so let us see what are the different types of thread so you have two different types of threads here one uh, is user level thread and the other one is kernel level or system level thread now what is this user level thread now user level thread does not have any uh, kernel or os support uh, they are created only or they are existing only in the running process so there is a possibility that there can be multiple user level threads in a process but all these multiple user level threads are considered as a single thread and there won't be any uh, switching of execution among these threads within the process that means there cannot be a context switching of uh, user level uh, threads unless it is voluntarily done uh, by the thread okay so the you uh, we can say that in terms of os perspective user level thread uh, is a non preemptive thread so only after completion of the user level threads execution the uh, the switching will occur so according to the os perspective user level thread is non preemptive see the second type of thread what we have kernel level thread so uh, here each individual kernel level thread unit is created as a separate thread by the us uh, sorry by the os uh, and uh, the individual units of execution OS treats as a separate th uh, threads and OS uh, is responsible or scheduler is responsible for uh, preempting uh, the uh, OS is uh, responsible for preempting the current running uh, kernel and uh, what it does is it switches the execution from one thread to another thread and uh, the switching or uh, to which thread uh, depends on the scheduling policy so based on what kind of scheduling policy has been chosen the uh, switching occurs so we can consider kernel level threads as a preemptive as we have seen user level thread is non preemptive we can consider kernel level thread as uh, preemptive now there are uh, many uh, types many ways of uh, binding uh, the user level threads with the kernel level threads let us see what are the different binding models have three different binding models we call that as thread binding models that means uh, how we can bind a user level thread to a kernel level or a system level thread so there are three different models in it so let's see the first model first model is many to one model uh, many to one model what happens here is uh, many user level threads are mapped to a single kernel level threads so uh, here because of this binding or mapping of many user level threads into a single kernel level threads execution switching uh, among the user level threads uh, will happen and uh, i mean sorry it will not happen and uh, the 
currently executing level uh, executing user level thread will uh, block uh, will be able to switch only if it voluntarily blocks itself okay next model is one to one model each user level uh, thread is bounded to one kernel level thread so since it's in the name suggests it's one to one model so user level thread one user level thread is uh, is mapped to one kernel level thread the third model we have is many to many model so here many user level threads uh, are bounded or mapped to many kernel level or system level uh, threads it's as simple as that as the name suggests it is similar to whatever the name suggests many to one one to one and many to one, many model so we've seen about the this this these are the uh, things that are related to thread preemption so we'll have to see thread uh, preemption what exactly is that preemption so thread preemption is similar to whatever pro process preemption is that is sharing of cpu time amongst different threads so then we also have seen that uh, since the context switching execution depends on the types of threads so we have seen two different types of threads called as user level thread and kernel level thread and uh, user level threads and kernel level threads can be mapped or binded so we have seen what are the different uh, binding models many to one one to one and many to many model after seeing this we have to also go ahead and see one uh, uh, concept known as uh, what is the difference between a process and thread this can be asked as a separate question differentiate between a process and threads so we'll see some of the differentiation points between process and threads process is program in execution and it can contain uh, many number of threads like one or more number of threads can be present in a process whereas thread it's a single unit of execution and thread is part of a process so thread comes within the process now what about uh, the second point second point is with regard to uh, memory process has its own code data and stack memory whereas thread uh, uh, has to share it has its own code and stack memory but it has to share the data memory and the heap memory with the process what about the third uh, point third point is with regard to process as we have seen that uh, uh, the process will contain at least one thread uh, that's similar to the first point whereas uh, here in thread thread cannot uh, you know exist independently it has to exist within the process next point uh, process is considered to be very expensive to create and also has lot of overheads so while process creation there are lots of overheads a creation of pcbs and all so there are lots of overhead os overheads that are that are uh, accompanying the process creation whereas thread creation is considered to be inexpensive context switching in process is a complex method and also it has lot of overheads attached to it and it's considered to be comparatively slow in execution compared to uh, thread context switching threads context switching execution is inexpensive and is uh, faster in execution the last point of difference between process and thread is uh, that uh, in case if the process it has completed its operation and process is eliminated all the resources that were attached with the process will be claimed or reclaimed by the os whereas uh, uh, as far as thread is concerned when the thread completes its execution and thread expires uh, the stack that is attached with the thread is reclaimed uh, by the process so these are some of the points you can write some more points if you want depending on uh, how much marks it is asked for uh, you can include some more difference points this is just an overview of what are, are the difference points between the process and thread thank you very much